Third diamond is the generations and the impact it's making on the way we do business. I wrote an article for meetingsnet.com on how technology is changing the way meetings are happening. You already know this, you're dealing with this. Will face-to-face -face meetings ever end? No way. We're human beings, we need to connect, we need to collect, we need to gather, we need to be around other human beings in order to learn, grow, share, all of those things. However, is technology causing alternate forms of connection? Absolutely. So how many of you have people in your lives, Gen Ys or younger, you try to phone them, they do not answer, but you text them and you get an instant response. That is an example of new rules communication. So you can be somebody who says, well, that sucks. I don't like that I have to text my daughter to get in touch with her. Or you could look at it and say, wait a second, if this is the rule of how she communicates and I want to communicate with her because I love her, I guess I'm texting, right? But if you apply that to the workspace, it's like if I have a Gen Y working for me and their way of communicating with me is to text me at midnight, I need to have little boundaries around my texting. Because here's what happens with Gen Ys, is texting for them is a 24-hour activity. And so if you're a boomer, you're going, well, in my day, we had rules around this. Those rules were, you know, you only contacted your superior between 9 and 5. If you had a question, you went to them face-to-face -face or you picked up the phone. Those were boomer rules of communication. But those rules are no longer true for everyone else in the workplace or who we work with today.